Today we're going to be working on a 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a pry tool. You can use a plastic one as well. Uh, then a 10 millimeter socket. It can be on a drill or a hand tool like this. And then you'll just need a Phillips head for some of them. Uh, it's not necessarily required as long as you have the 10 millimeter. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take off this panel right here. Uh, all you got to do is grab on the bottom of it. If you just run your hand along the bottom of it, you'll feel it come out. You can also use a pry tool as well, but as you can see, there's multiple clips in there. After you've done that, you're going to want to take this Phillips head out right here. Uh, like I said earlier, you don't have to have a Phillips head. You can also use a 10 millimeter. So I'll show you that. Just a little screw. And then this panel, uh, you're also going to have to get this right down here. Uh, there's a little insert in the middle of it. So you just need something that's like, kind of slim. I'm using the tip of my Phillips head here. If you just press in on that, you'll hear it click and it'll fall right out. That's what that looks like. And then this panel just pops right off and it's held in by a few uh, diagonal clips. All right, so then same thing on this side. We're just gonna go underneath here and pull out. Same thing over here, bunch of clips. We're gonna undo the screw. And then the same thing down here, show you on this side, there's just a middle right here. All you gotta do is push in on that, you'll hear it click, and the panel will come out. And then with this side you do have the push to start button. So make sure you have the uh, battery unplugged and then you can just unplug that. And we've got that side out now. All right, so the next thing we need to take off is this top shroud right here. So all you need is just your pry tool. And if you just get right in the middle there, you can just pop that up and work your way down. Just wanna be a little careful as you go. Make sure you don't scratch any of the other plastic, like the top of this. And once we've got that undone, we can just slide it back a little bit. All we need to do is get to these two Phillips screws right here. Phillips and 10 millimeter, so either way. Uh, the next thing we're going to go ahead and take off is going to be these down here, uh, the vents. So all you need to do is get your pry tool in there, do the top and the bottom, and then just pull right out. Same thing with this side. Pops right out. And then the next thing we're going to do is take out the screen portion. So we've got the two screws up top we mentioned, then we have one over here and one over here. Let's go ahead and get those out. And we've got those out, let's do the top two. Alright, and then we can pull the screen out. Just pull one on either side and it'll come out. And then so after that, we're just going to unplug everything here. And we got all that unplugged, we'll just push those back and set the screen to the side. And then our next step is these two screws up here, 10 mils again, and then two on either side. And one thing to notice for these screws is that the ones that have the Phillips heads are actually screws, whereas the ones that are just 10 millimeters are bolts. And the way you can tell where they're going is the screws are going to be going into just straight plastic, whereas the bolts are going to be going into a metal fastener. Alright, so now that we've gotten that loose, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull the shifter back so we can get this piece out down here. Uh, the way you can do that is if you just take the key, there's a little hole right here. Go in there, and as you can see, just the release comes out. And if you take the key and push it down on the button in there, the shifter will be released. 
want to make sure you have the parking brake on for that as well. Then we're going to take our microfiber and we're going to put that down right below it just so we don't scratch anything. I like to try to get it underneath the trim piece as well. And then from there, just pull on that. And as you can see, there's just a few clips around it. And after we've got that out, the radio should just pull right out. All right, so we've got all of our harnesses connected now uh, for the V-Line, the T-harnesses. Uh, so as you can see, this is gonna be the big one right here. It's gonna be for power and data and all that. Uh, it's gonna get plugged in right here. And as well as this one right here, the 16 pin, or yeah, 16 pin. Uh, now we left the female side disconnected because this does connect to the factory aux. Uh, so if you do have any issues with CarPlay being too low or just the V-Line in general being too low on volume, disconnect that 16 pin and that should solve that issue. Um, for the display cables, we've got the GB9MF right here. Uh, so here's our factory connection and that's going into our T-harness right here. So you'll just plug that in and then you're going to let the other side, the male side, go into the back of the screen itself. And that's going to be all the connections that you need back here.